Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we will continue our discussion uh, related to internet of things. So far we have discussed about various key technologies involved in the implementation of IoT, wireless sensor networks, cloud computing, big data, wire, uh, embedded systems. And uh, in this video we are going to discuss about the uh, various components of an IoT system uh, in a bringing you know combined together which bring together the IoT system ok. So, previously we discussed the key technologies, but here we are going to discuss in general in a broad sense what are the components that are involved in an IoT system. It can be wireless sensor networks, but in general wireless sensor networks, cloud computing, big data it will all be there. But those are, I know, in a we are, we we are discussing specifically those things. But how all these things they come together to bring this whole IoT into picture? Okay, so we all know uh, IoT basically is Internet of Things, which is all the things which are driven electrically or electronically. They are connected to each other with the help of internet ok interconnection of networks the different devices they are brought together for the sharing of data and information with each other for monitoring purposes for sensing detection actuation controlling whatever so the various objectives of iot the general objectives first most important is connecting things with each other exchange of data and information for sensing, actuation, monitoring, control, processing, analyzing of data collected and providing various services on the basis of these operations. So here the various key technologies which we have already discussed these come into play ok wireless sensor networks, cloud computing, big data, embedded systems and in the internet it brings all these things together. Now the various components that are involved in the formation of an IoT system no matter for whichever objective or purpose it is designed they are these ok. So, first uh, the hardware devices ok. The hardware devices it can be anything it can be the sensors ok for sensing and detection of various physical parameters, monitoring of various things, for actuation to convert the output to into a suitable control action, okay, to keep things under control at a certain within a certain level like that. So we all know we have all discussed about sensors and actuators and sensors, transducers, instrumentation and process control. We have all discussed about uh, the uh, sensors, actuators, final control elements like that. So, hardware devices are basically all the, the basic elements that are involved, ok, the devices that are involved in sensing, monitoring, detection, control, actuation that, ok. So, these are the hardware devices, ok. Next is the software resources. So, software is basically a collection of programs, ok, routines, so rules, regulations, procedures which determine the functioning of the whole IoT system, how the hardware devices will operate, ok. We have used all these sensors, transducers, actuators, final control element, everything, but how will they operate, when will they operate, what will they do? So, that is determined by the programs, the computer program which is installed in the microcontroller. The microcontroller refers to the memory where the program is stored and then according to that upon receiving the various information from the sensors or whatever hardware devices are used, it issues suitable control signals depending on which suitable tasks are done. So, the softwares which are used in the IoT device that they are used for various 
purposes for storing of data, processing, analyzing, accessing data at any given point, uh, executing suitable control actions. Okay, so uh, monitoring whether the results are up to the mark or not. So like that. So this is the second part, which is software resources. Next is the database. So the database is the collection of data or information in an organized manner. So why it is done is that when required, the data can be easily accessed. Okay, it can easily be updated when new information arises. Okay, so the proper maintenance of information which is stored, which is collected from the various hardware devices in an orderly manner that is called as database. Like we see in libraries, all the books, they are divided on the basis of the genre of uh, whether it is uh, fact, uh, the fiction or whether it is non-fiction. Also in uh, alphabetical orders, it is divided or uh, depending upon the various series, uh, the books are divided into various categories and separate sections. Okay, so depending on which category we want to divide, that is decided by the software routines. So, database is the arrangement of data in an orderly manner for the proper accessing, okay, and updation when required. Okay, so this database the data which is stored which is collected by the iot system it can either be stored locally local storage or in the cloud the internet with the help of suitable third party cloud service providers okay so depending upon the operational requirements it can be done next is the controller service so Controller service basically it interacts with the web services. Now we have already discussed about web services, okay, in the previous video. So web services they control, they govern how the various subsystems involved in the IoT they interact with each other. So they use representational state transfer REST or WebSocket protocol. I have already uh, dis, uh, discussed that video. We have compared both the protocols. So controller service it interacts with the web services that run in the IoT system and uh, the different data from the various hardware devices it is sent to the application and depending upon the software routine the program it receives command from the application through the web services as it is the connecting link between the various subsystems for a particular operation okay so the controller service it does that okay so next we have is the uh, web service so we have already made a separate video on this but web service it acts as a connecting link as an interface the thread which joins all the IoT subsystems, IoT components, hardware, software, database, controller, everything. So web services can be implemented using uh, representational state transfer REST or WebSocket protocol. We have already made a comparison uh, between these two in the previous video, which is dedicated specifically to web service. Next is analysis service. So whatever data is collected by the various hardware devices, the sensor nodes through wireless sensor networks, which is given to the uh, microcontroller, the controller service, which is stored in the database and is accessed as per the uh, program by the microcontroller. It can be used for analyzing and processing, okay, to achieve the desired results. And it can be presented in a manner so that it can be easily comprehended by the user. Suppose you see a group of random numbers before you, okay, a lot of numbers or a lot of alphabets, you cannot make out anything from it. But if it is uh, analyzed and processed to establish suitable logical relationship between the various clusters of data and it is presented in a orderly manner, with suitable logical relationship 
that is called as data analytics okay so that is what is done in data analytics so basically the analysis service does that it takes raw data processes it analyzes it and presents it in a, a manner which can be easily understood by the uh, you know a layman okay so that he can understand he can interpret what is the end result okay so this can also be done locally or through third party cloud service providers next is application so application uh, is basically where the controller is given control is given to the uh, user the client who is using the services so all this iot subsystem and the user the application acts as the interface between them okay so this acts as the connecting link between the iot system and the user it is similar to the applications that we use uh, which we download from the internet we use in uh, our laptops desktops or in smartphones so that application it acts as the connecting link between you and the system which is responsible for various things that is happening uh, within it which we can control through uh, you know with the help of our phones or uh, by clicking on suitable control action buttons like that so it gives us the power to change things as we require when we require okay so it gives us the control to monitor various things and to change things accordingly okay by clicking on suitable buttons or like that depending on the interface which is given so the interface should be as simple as possible with minimal complexity involved so the application is the link between the uh, iot system or this general system and the user so these are the basic components involved in the iot system so we have discussed that so uh, I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.